Hello, my little mystical magical creatures. Welcome to another TBT. So, I believe middle school is always a important time in a person's life, but for me, it was I. It wasn't um, such a memorable experience, but I did, I did learn a lot in middle school, and not like education-wise. I'm just talking about like street-wise. <clears throat> Streetwise, excuse me. I still am in fact sick. It's actually still the very same day as the last video. So, yeah. Um. <sighs> middle school, I um. I had some pretty weird friends, and I mean, it was a time where my middle school was in fact pretty ghetto known as one of the most ghetto middle schools in the neighborhood you know people getting shot people getting in gangs and gang initiations was happening and all that other kind of crazy junk and i was just smack dab in the middle of all of it i had my normal friends and then i had my project friends and um my project friends all lived in like the 40 projects and all that stuff over there and if you don't know the 40 projects is kind of infamous for the shootings and the fights and the arresting and the cops coming over and all that kind of junk some serious get downs that's, that's how i'm gonna put it okay it's not the best place for you to be walking down the street with your rolex with your rolex watch or your Prada shoes, okay? Not the best. Don't do it. Suicide. <laughs> okay? <clears throat> so, um, I had a group of friends in 7th seven, and 8th grade, I should say. And, um, I had a best friend who lived pretty close to my area, so we would take the bus together. And, um, her boyfriend was kind of a gang leader, I should say, or he was gang initiated or something like that, or that, you know, he was part of a gang or he was starting his own gang, you know, thug life chose him and he was in it and there was, you know, it was all kinds of stuff. But um, because we took the bus together, I didn't want to leave her and because I'm such the responsible friend and I'm such a mature person because seriously I had to things in my life made me mature real fast like there was no kid time at a certain point in my life it was just thrown into adulthood you better know some common sense that kind of thing so I would be there because she obviously didn't have that and I did, so I was just like, let me go so I can pull her real quick so she doesn't get into any serious troubles. So, um, <clears throat> one day after school, you know, it was um, a mob of us. It was her and let's just call her Tiffany. Let's call her Tiffany. It was Tiffany, then you had her boyfriend and our whole clique which was probably like about 12 to 16 people so you know there would just be a, like a mob of us on the corner after school and the mob of us would like navigate to the corner store slash bus stop and that was where I would think that me and Tiffany would be leaving to go and get on the bus but no she would be like hey Amorous let's hang out for a bit and let's hang out with the guys and all that stuff and I'd be like can't leave her and I don't want to be like that lame person that drags you away from all the fun I don't want to be the lame fun sucker friend so I was like all right okay you know and these were like considered the popular people of our age <laughs> and um, I felt like I was obligated to you know kind of do it because I was like I'm kind of a, a popular person by negotiating <laughs> <laughs> my friendship cuz um if you didn't know my name from my elementary school meaning like you didn't come from my elementary school and like move to the middle school along with me then uh, you didn't know my name and if you didn't know my name the way you would know me is I would be 
Tiffany's friend. That's who I was. That was my entire existence. Tiffany's friend. It didn't mean that I was popular or anything. It just meant that I was a popular person's friend. And a popular person's friend kind of needs to be somewhat respected. Because obviously that person is liked for a reason. So, that was me. Yeah. Popular friend. <laughs> so, um... We were to all um, go from the corner store to past the middle school and towards like the avenue, which would be the avenue is like a big shopping center that's not close but not very far from the school. And we would walk there, and I'd be like, "Okay, we can still get on a bus here." So I'll, I'm gonna ask her when we get there if she wants to she wants to go now and she'd be talking with her boyfriend and I'd be you know in the back talking it up with the guys because you know I'm a talkative person I can talk and I can chill the boys would be talking about like Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon or something like that and I'd be in there like yo you don't even know and they are like oh you're into that kind of stuff too and then of course occasionally one guy would be like what's your name again and I had to tell him my name and they'd be like uh, I've seen you around but I didn't know I'm like yeah cause I'm, I'm Tiffany's friend and they're like oh and that just changes everything and then I'm automatically on the coolness level <laughs> so, okay alright you get it <laughs> so that's how it will go down but this one particular evening um you know, um, Tiffany's boyfriend was considered uh, a blood or a crip or one of the two, but there was this other guy in our school and he apparently had, you know, some attraction to me somehow by some way that I don't know how I attracted this person. And um, he was talking to me outside of school and my group was getting ready to go and I was trying to like go with them so I wouldn't get left behind and he was just like talking to me still and like yo wait wait a second I'm trying to talk to you because you know I really want your number and I think we can like hang out and stuff like that you know you want to be my girl and I didn't even know that this guy had anything to do with a gang or whatever but then all of a sudden Tiffany's boyfriend comes along and he's like yo dude this girl's like my daughter back up and I'm just like whoa what happened and he was like that makes her uh whatever his gang was and he like pulls me towards him that makes her technically one of us and then the guy backs up he was like ah oh, whatever you know I can have her whenever I want her and all this kind of thing and I'm thinking like a fight's about to break out over me and I'm just like somebody about to fight over me like this has never happened before this is not how I imagine this happening <laughs> cause in my head you know like I said in a previous TBT I'm a help I was like a helpless romantic falling in love and tripping over my shoelaces at the slightest of romantic symbolism and this was just like not at all what I imagine what I would have wanted to happen so they get into a quick little fight we pull away and I never talk to that dude again because it's just like I don't want that to happen again no nah so, um if I could do it all over I would probably have gone to an all-girls school like my mom had originally wanted me to but uh, I wanted to be with my friends from the elementary and I didn't want to start in a whole new place. I wanted to be with the cool people. I wanted to go where all the cool people were going. I followed like a helpless lamb instead of being an independent wolf. But you know, whatever. Wolves aren't independent. They travel in packs. Whatever. You get the, you get the idea. <clears throat> but so yeah. Don't get involved with boys and gangs if you've didn't know they were involved in gangs in the beginning. Okay, but when you find out, stay away from them. It doesn't end well, trust me, I know. It usually ends up with a block fight that started over you and you don't wanna you don't wanna carry that guilt on your shoulder. But I did learn one thing. Tiffany's boyfriend 
he cared about me like a sister, which made me feel special and upped my ranking on the popularity list just a bit. I was still forever Tiffany's friend though. I think if I went back for a, school, a middle school reunion, I'd probably end up introducing myself as, hey, yeah, remember I was Tiffany's friend? Yeah, yeah, that was that was me. And everyone was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember you now. Yeah, so, sad reality. Never, never, never go and just make yourself comfortable behind someone's shadow. Don't, don't do it to yourself because I still feel bad for, for past me for doing that. It's a uh, really harsh reality to believe that I was once actually like that. If you go to my high school, I'm the girl with purple hair, I am amorist, I am the crazy spontaneous one, I'm the, the goth queen, <laughs> and that is how you can tell the direct the drastic difference. I went from being Tiffany's friend to the girl with purple hair slash goth queen of Fashion High. That is the difference. <laughs> okay? So, um, yeah. Don't live in somebody else's shadow. Hope you learned something from this. Stay away from bad boys, please. Please. Stay away from bad boys. Just go with a decent good boy, okay? Just, just do that and make your mom happy, you'll make your dad happy, it'll make you happy in the long run. Just go with the good boys, okay? Who said nice guys have to finish last? I certainly don't. They always come first in my book, so that's it for this TBT. I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, also, <clears throat> before I wrap this up, got some tag videos coming your way. I'm not going to tell you which ones yet, but I'm going to be doing two of the same tags because I have two people for this specific, specific tag. And you're going to meet some of my friends. Go meet some friends, friends. We're going to do some friend videos. Friend video collabs. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, bye my little creatures. See you next video. <laughs> Bye. Shall we vogue?